Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about bow divisions and rhythms. Um, and a good way to demonstrate bow divisions is in a scale. I always put my metronome at 60 when I practice my scales. And I work from a slow tempo up to a, a faster uh, tempo. But the, but the metronome always stays at 60. So first, you start with whole notes, which is four counts to 60. And that's dividing the bow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'll play a little bit of an A major scale like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you about doing half notes, separate bows. I'm going to divide the bow, one, two, one, two. So the bow is going a little faster. And now we're going to go to quarter notes. But we're going to slur them so that one note is half a bow and the next note is half a bow. But if you can see, the bow division is so important because if I did not divide that in half and I divided it, you know, the first note three quarters of a bow and then the second note just a quarter of a bow, the sound would be very different. It would sound like this. Now, maybe you'll use that kind of a bow speed at some point and bow division, but you know, to really practice your scales and get them, you know, the right sound sustained, you do definitely need the exact bow division, sort of like, you know, math. Um, let's go to four notes to a bow. So now you're dividing each note into quarters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a little example of bow division in your scales and you can use it in all your different scales and of course your pieces as well.